Oh, that was close. That was close. Boy, do I have a story for you. Let me sort my levels out. I mean, I've prepared nothing because I've not had the time to prepare anything. So, uh, whew. Fun times. Fun, fun times. Kirk Wammett is online. I think you're going to enjoy this stream because I'm, I'm introducing a new, a new element, a new wild card. A new way to make money, if you like. Uh, let me get on Facebook. And, I mean... I'm logged out of everything. I need to log into everything again. So bear with me. Bear with me. I've not downloaded the tracks that we're we're working on this month. Um, I am the forever professional, as you as you all well know. Right. Uh, so what am I going to write? I am live for the next four hours. Come say hi. Learn to transcribe. So who is online? Who have we got here? <laughs> I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Let me get this posted in a few places because we need people online. We need people here. Yeah, as I say, I'm going to do something slightly different this time around. Slightly different. This could go nowhere. It could it could go good places. We will find. We will find. We will find out. You know what I should do? I'll do that. Bah! You know, Amazon have changed their system now, and for some reason when you search Levi Clay, none of my stuff comes up. So you need to look for country guitar, or blues guitar, or whatever. So, yeah. Cool, we are live. Oh, I have to do the usual, right? Off to Instagram I go. Ready for the Inception? Our monthly Inception. Hello, Alvin Sampson. Hello, Connor. How's it going, my brother? All right, let's go uh, up. Video, there we go. Hello everybody out there in Instagram land. I am coming at you live right now on my YouTube channel. So head on over there to see the fun. See, look, I'm even pointing a camera at myself. This is some sort of Twitter inception thing. We are going to be transcribing some Matt Schofield, some Joe Pass, and maybe drinking some whiskey. We'll see. So come say hi, get involved. We will have some fun for the next four hours. Bye. What's poppin' peeps? Hello Gary. Name redacted. I've been competing with Medica's live stream. Well, you know, I'm not a complete fucking loser, so there you go. I have skills other than petty YouTube dramas, so uh Levi the Instagram model. I am lame. Chris the Conqueror, I am lame. You're lame too though, motherfucker. Oh look at that, I've already got my first thumbs down, so What's the most me thing ever? The whiskey or Cool, so I'm going to I'm going to prepare. So the story is for anyone that follows me on Instagram, you will know that I already have bumped in half an hour ago I decided I will I'll restart my computer before I do this live stream. That'll be that'll be a good thing to do, won't it? Restart my computer. What happens? What happens? Ah, where is the video? What happens? Doesn't want to actually change. Doesn't want to update. Now I can't find my Matt Schofield video. We'll get there, don't worry. Okay. 
Got it. Cool. Downloading. I'll be with you in a second. Why is it downloaded at a Chrome Downloads? What a stupid place to put a video. Oh, this is madness. Right, let me read these comments so you see what's going on. Ah, technology, yeah, it's uh, it's a fun thing, right? It's um, <laughs> the bane of my existence. It took half an hour, half an hour to reboot the damn thing. So I didn't know, you know, normally I'd have everything set up and uh, yeah. So of course, I should just say a huge thank you to my supporters on Patreon. This this uh, YouTube live stream is brought to you by my Patreon page. Those guys are cool. And uh, yeah, Toby, you got the uh, time exactly right on that. And I'm already getting messages on Instagram from one of you guys. Hello, Long Trang. Evening, Richard. How's it going, my friend? So yeah. Tonight uh, is brought to you by my supporters over on Patreon. Big thank you to those guys. Um, that is very cool of them that they support me over on there. And if you want to join me over on there, you know, link in the description and all that stuff. Other ways to support this channel, you can check out my books on Amazon because that's a good way to do things. Um, also, just uh, subscribing to this YouTube channel is another great way of doing things. But I have another thing that I'm going to be doing this evening. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Tonight. And tonight only, well, this will probably be like a, a thing moving forward. But tonight, I am going to... Let's get this to work. Oh, that's really confusing. Tonight, I am going to be taking super chats. And for a super chat, there's a reason for it this time. When I get a super chat, you're buying me a drink. So, this could get messy. I could end up drinking lots of Lagavulin. The Lagavulin 16, there's not much left in this bottle, but I, I have another one, don't worry. The Lagavulin 16, a lovely whiskey. Um, I will be drinking Lagavulin in exchange for Super Chats. So who knows, maybe this stream will last four hours. Maybe, maybe it won't. Maybe I won't be capable of continuing. But uh, yeah, let's have a look. <laughs> Carrie's going to start a Patreon so you can afford to be my patron. <laughs> I mean, you can support me on Patreon for as little as one dollar, uno dollar, and that gets you access to my private patron-only Facebook group, and lots of good stuff happens in there. It's a good group of people in there. So, um, yeah, right. I've got this file set up, so I'm going to hang around for a few more minutes and you know talk shit before I start transcribing. So, how is everybody? Are there any questions that anyone has? Anyone wants to ask me before I get started on this long transcribing thing? Oh, fun times. I mean, I should know enough about, you know, what social media, uh, Facebook, Instagram, places like that do when you post multiple updates. It was very, very stupid of me to post that picture of my computer updating mere minutes before I was going to be live streaming because now I've posted my live stream link and they don't want to share that with anyone. No one wants to see that. They don't want me, people seeing that. Oh, I have to actually share this on Patreon. Uh but again, I got to log in, and this was a bad idea. I I screwed this up royally this month, guys. On the bright side, uh, my stream for next month, I have planned that. So um, yeah, let me just post this. Is it is it weird to say, um, come buy me a drink when I've already got the bottle? <laughs> it's really just you encouraging me to drink, isn't it? R oh. Uh. I'm not clicking those videos. I'm not doing it. I'm not clicking. <laughs> right, so let me uh, let me take a look at these comments. 
Chris the Conqueror, why are we here? That is a good question. What do you mean in general, or do you mean here on this channel right now? We are here to learn. Why are we here in general? I don't know. Fucking fighting farting, I believe, is the uh, as that country song goes. I'm going to be transcribing a live Matt Schofield solo, and you know what? I probably should have planned this in advance. I don't even know what track it is. It's just a great live solo. And then I'm going to do some Joe Pass, because, yeah, uh, I... Today's been a busy day, guys. I have filmed and and edited and uploaded seven, seven YouTube videos. And they're all scheduled to go live each day next week because uh, I'm not going to be around next week. And I don't want you guys to go without. So, Toby, you're just in, uh, interested in watching me. So, right, lots of comments. So let me just make sure I don't miss any of them. I hope I'm super successful on Patreon too. Yeah, thank you again, Chris. Hi, Paul. How's it going for the second time today? Um, okay, so Toby, you've already transcribed this. Yes, of course. The best whiskey. It's not my favourite whiskey, Alvin. It's not my favourite whiskey. I like... I picked the wrong whiskey for a stream if I'm going to drink more multiple uh, of them. Uh, I like the Lagavulin. It's very, very peaty, so I like you know, one or two Lagavulin. It's not like the Balvini. You give me the Balvini, I can I can drink a lot of that. You drink that like water because it's not quite as kind of strong and pungent in that in that peaty area. So um yeah, but the Lagavulin is very tasty whiskey. So it's a, it's like a, a nice treat to have a Lagavulin. Anyway, uh yeah, YouTube will take thirty percent of my whiskey too. What interface am I using? Long Trang. I am using the Apollo twin. Yep this going into the Apollo Twin. The problem with the Apollo Twin is obviously it's a two-channel interface, so I have, coming off of that, I've got the uh, Focusrite, Focusrite, yeah, the Scala Octo Pre, which gives me an additional eight mic channels, um, because with my audio set up, generally speaking, I only need to use two inputs, voice and guitar, or if I'm doing the podcast, voice and voice, but with recording with the Kemper, I want more inputs than that. I want to be able to get a DI guitar and I want to be able to get uh, the uh, my voice and I want to be able to get the Kemper sound. And I, you know, There's lots of things, lots of ways to do that. And I've got the, uh, the Two Notes Torpedo hooked up and it, that goes into a different channel. And yeah, so I like the, I do like the uh, Apollo Twin. It's cool, UAD. Anyway, well, so I've done that. What is the meaning of life? Forty-two. Oh shit. Okay, Connor. <laughs> so I didn't. I didn't plan. I need to get ice. I I drink ice in my whiskey. So two seconds. to it so meaning of life 42 tailed feature is online how's it going my friend i have recovered from last weekend yep we've got more positive stream going on now uh honest opinion on the laney ironheart that amp it's good for the money it's really good for the money it's not the best amp in the world um but they're so unbelievably cheap when you compare it to like high-end boutique stuff if you are looking for, I'm not going to say your first tube amp because it's definitely better than you know your first tube amp. If you play in a band, the Laney Ironheart is going to do the job. I like the versatility of it. There's a lot of tweaking options. Uh, there's push pull knobs and on it and things, so you can really kind of craft the tone. So I do. I really like the amp. That's why why I have it. But I also have just bought a Rev Generator 120. So yeah, oops. <laughs> Do I like big stubbies, the picks? Oh, you know what? There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, no, uh, I played the the um, I played the big stubbies for a while when I was younger, but y'all know me. I'm a VPix medium pointed guy. Actually, I've been getting used to a few different VPix now. This stream is also brought to you by VPix, so yeah, they're not they're not too bad. But um, yeah, cool. Let me keep going. Name redacted. Dankula has a few bottles of whiskey. You should go liberate. I mean, I've got a lot of bottles of whiskey. Marcus doesn't have many bottles of whiskey because he's not much of a drinker. Neither am I, but 
because I like whiskey whenever it's a birthday or Christmas you know people get me bottles of whiskey and they just go in my cupboard um, and then they'll get broken out when I have a friend over I'm not much of a drinker um mm -hmm. Richard. Yeah, motherfucker, sort it out. <laughs> no, it's fine. People come and go on Patreon all the time and, you know, it's just part of it. Being a YouTuber was a great idea. Take a shot. I mean, I'm going to take a shot because I see Connor has super chatted me. Um, yeah. All right, so first glass of whiskey before I get some work done. This is uh, thanks, to, thanks to Connor. Oh yeah. It's not a big glass. <laughs> oh, it's strong, it's peaty. Uh, so Eric asks, how Matt Schofield approached the 6th and the 9th to improvise like you do? I mean, we're going to transcribe to Matt Schofield shortly, so let's um, analyse that when we get there. Is the track called Lay It Down? Uh, Toby would be the person to answer that question. I can, I can find that out. Hang on, two seconds. I've got it somewhere. No, it's not there. Let's go into my YouTube. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it warms your cockles. History, there we go. The track we're doing is Don't Know What I Do. We'll get there in a second though, don't worry. Ooh. Uh, Rick Beata got a hold of me via Daryl Gable, a mutual friend. I need to follow up with Rick about some sort of collaboration. <coughs> You tried to transcribe a few things that you made up, didn't go as you'd hoped, and resulted in me using bad words and rude hand gestures. Yeah, I know that feeling. Um, the more time you put into it, you know, the better you get at it. Do I ever use the Kemper when playing live? Alvin, I don't play live anymore, to be honest. Um, I'm, I consider going out and doing it a little bit more, but um, I like evenings at home with the family, and I don't want to be out on the road. I, I work all day doing the, the transcription thing, and... Um, yeah, so I've not, I play live last, I've not played out in public in, I don't know, maybe nine months, so, um, if I was going out and playing live, would I take the Kemper with me? No, not because it's not great, but because I've got the rack mounted version and it's in my desk in my studio, so it's not really set up for being transport transported, I would, it depends what I'm playing, you know, I would probably take my Fender Basement because I imagine I'd be playing some blues or country stuff, so let's keep going. <laughs> my insta bio yeah when i started instagram i was drinking a lot more um i've never been much of a drinker though so <laughs> i mean my insta bio talks about casual alcoholism but scroll through my insta and see how many you know pictures of alcohol there are <laughs> uh i'm sorry no no i'm gonna have a glass for every super chat because i won't get this is Levi Claystream. I won't get many super chats. Like I'm not a, not an alt right superstar or anything like that. You know, this this, this isn't about that. So right, let's um let's crack on. Let's do some stuff. So, boom, da da. I've got everything loaded up. So, Ooh. so the solo is at two, two. Thirty-three. Yep. Cool. So let's listen to it first. Oh, shake my levels. So I'm just going to mark this file out for you now. I 
I saw that. one that trying to get an ice cube out I don't know if I'm going to do this much of it. Yeah, I used to mark out sections, measures and beats as well. Uh, yes, this video will stay up on my channel afterwards so people will be able to see me drinking. So I should also say, um, Carrie, Carrie West, um, I've topped up the glass, more in here now. <sighs> Ooh. Cool, so that's a, that's a great solo, right? I like Matt Schofield's playing, he's very um, Robin Ford. I'm going to mark this as a, a new section just so I don't lose track of things. So I right click, edit this marker, subdivide by four beats, because of course it's four beats. Um, how many people we got online? Yeah, 33 people watching, that's awesome. Thank you, thank you very much for watching guys. Hopefully you get as much out of this as I get out of doing it. I really, yeah. it's no surprise that uh, I don't do YouTube for the riches. Uh, my, my YouTube channel hasn't got hundreds of thousands of subscribers. I make videos because I really enjoy kind of, you know, entertaining people and making content that you enjoy so um yeah it means a lot that you still enjoy this content and even if you didn't i'd keep making it because if one person's watching that's all that matters if nobody was watching maybe maybe i'd no i'd still keep making videos looking for that one person anyway so just checking the key so i'm kind of in the in the right mindset Two, so it starts on uh, beat um, beat two. Uh, he's had enough to drink that he can't he can't remember words. I'm gonna I'm gonna move my dogs. Two seconds, guys. Because they're gonna be assholes. I can feel it. I feel it in my bones. I like this method of uh, super chatting for alcohol. <laughs> it's much better than before super chats would get you admin status on my channel, and that's um, that's a bit silly, really, right? So. Now this is silly, but I'm I'm just going to change my tone a little bit. 
if I'm going to have to hear this thing a lot. Let's get rid of that. That's less offensive. Let me get some non-alcohol. Stay hydrated. Ooh. You guys have no idea. Thank you, Jay Langley. You know, there's an easy way to get me more subscribers. Tell your friends. Tell your enemies about all the all the fun that goes on on my channel. Uh, yeah, you have no idea with these two lights on you, it's uh, it's hot. One of the videos I'm uploading next week looks slightly different because I only put one light on because I'd been filming for like four hours and I just couldn't take the lights. So I just thought I'd... Um... Yeah. Uh, okay. Let me. Uh, I have it as the and of one. Pumps the F. So, what are you talking about? Yeah, you're absolutely right. He does. Um, I wasn't... You could put that in there. Like, to me, that's like a such an unnecessary detail. But, yeah. You know, I'd, I've got a few... Um, style sheets that I use if I press uh, F7 go to options and load style in here I have a few different styles for different different work different jobs like there's some different crack in the code ones one that I use for Andy James stuff this is the American Guitar Academy my default got the fundamental changes and an updated fundamental changes then a Frank Gambali one and then we had a, a separate style sheet for the Mike Stern stuff on the American Guitar Academy but yeah I can do that now for you. <laughs> Sorry. Yep, don't worry guys, I'm going to keep keep this quality up. That's actually the best thing about, you know, the last couple of years. Although my my subscriber numbers do keep going up and videos do get consistent views, but um the important thing is the quality of the videos has improved so much because I've been able to buy things like nice microphones and lighting and getting a good backdrop and software plugins and things just to make my videos a little bit better. So I'm still not the best. There's still a hell of a lot that I could um, learn about. Yeah. Rod, you're full of full of enemies, surrounded by them. Anyway. So because Toby's watching this, I guess I need to do like super details. So let's do it. Now there's your typical Matt Schofield thing. Jumping down to the sixth. That phrase, you want to analyze that. Typical minor pentatonic in shape one. The fact that we drop down to the F sharp, fourth fret, instead of jumping down to the G natural at the fifth fret, which would be minor pentatonic, that gives us that major pentatonic flavor, which, yeah, you have to have down if you want to be that, that thing. So, um... Oh, Guthrie solo. Hmm. Those types of things are limited requests to these people over here. And now here's where you're going to point out your name's on there, but under a different name. <laughs> um, all content is, is kind of curated and suggested by my patrons. This particular video, actually, Toby suggested this video, so... <laughs> So space, we like space, a full bar of space. Space is the easiest thing to transcribe. I did a video on the blues earlier today, and in that I talk about the way I like to lie, lay out a blues when I'm transcribing a blues. More whiskey. When I, uh, The way I like to lay out a blues, and uh, generally speaking I always like to have three measures per line. So we got triplets. Yeah, 
Now, for those that are taken aback by what I'm able to do there, you can do that too. It just takes a bit of time. You know, I hear a phrase. And I can I know how to play that. And then minor third to major third. Fifth root flat seven. Pull off to fifth. I love that rhythm. So he's lazy here. There's, there's so many ways you could write this out, and I know Toby is probably really looking forward to this. But you know what? I'm I'm going to do it the way I do it. Ba -da -ba. Check where he's playing. It's a hammer. I didn't think ahead, did I? I've got this ice tray sat here now, and these ice is gradually melting. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. be specific right it's not so this phrase here you know I thought about it and I'm gonna focus on that I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in so you can see this and I'll, and I'll talk you through the thought process so that in my mind there's two ways to write that out I can write it as I've got it here, or I could put another bar, uh, and I could write it like that. This bar here is a lot more of an accurate representation of what's being played there. Da, 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 ba, 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 da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Whereas what I've written here is how I would pre prefer to think about that. Da 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 da. Trying to vocalise that slur, um, but really he's just being very lazy with that. I can't decide which I prefer there. I think they're both. They both work. Way two was the way you wrote it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let me. Let's listen to them. Put, need to put the swing marking in. And the tempo would be... One, two, three, four. Let's go one, three, five. Or... Yeah, let's go with the second way. When I wrote it down on the page, it didn't look quite as offensive as I thought it was going to. Oh, we go. Well, yeah, if you look back, I did write it as that. And I, you know, my rule is I would prefer that. So I'm also going to leave it like that. I'm just, I'm, <laughs> you've got me second guessing myself now. A whiskey glass is empty.
You got me second guessing myself now because I know you worry about detail, so I'm going to make sure I'm detailed with this. See, same thing here, I would like this to be eighth notes. From a from a learning angle, like again, that makes the most sense to me. Ba ba da 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 that makes more sense to me. But he is late on that slide, so... It's exactly the same, you know, you could write it like that. You could write it like that. But then when you get pernickety on that, it's really that. You know, I don't like what it's become. So I, you, I don't think of it as a simplification. I think of it as writing it in the way that you'd want to read it. And yeah, I think that is just the nicest representation of what it should look like on the page. So I'm going to stick with that. Good lad, Toby. Yeah, it's the way to do it. Yeah, ice does really well under hot lights. Oh, oh, oh no. Jason Chadrick's in the chat, in the chat and he's just passed this along to Matt Schofield himself. The man, the master. If you come in, Matt, say hi. so much to talk about because his phrasing is just so did you play that It's, just, oh, it's sublime like he's just his time is just so so good when you analyze it at the molecular level like that all of this you'll notice like with the last two bars i've been able to present both bars in two different ways the way that it looks nicest on the page and the way that's really a close representation of how exactly how it's being played and this i could do the exact same in this bar this second b i prefer that to be as I've written it. But you could absolutely write that as a triplet that he's just he rushes just a little bit. It could be da da ba ba da 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 or ba da 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 they they both function absolutely uh, perfectly. Let's put some vibrato on this note. Same with this bar. Do you want to write this as a triplet with the first note being a rest? Or do you want to write it as uh, eighth notes, but you're just a bit lazy on that first note? There's just, there's no right answer. I mean, there is a right answer, but...
I mean, pressure's on on you now, Jason, Mr. Shadrick. You've got, you've got to get Mr. Schofield in. <laughs> so you went for the triplet. Let me, let me hear. You know, the, even when I look at that, the triplet's definitely not right, but neither is the eighth note. It's just, ah, uh, ah, oh, that. That is good time feel. It's just, yeah. Just micro pushes and pulls in the beat to give it that laid back feel. Oh, he's so good. He's just so good. Let me check my uh, Facebook. So Richard Henry show. I, I should, yeah, just point that out. Um, anyone that is watching this and enjoying it, please do share a link on your Facebook, on your Twitter. I'd like to get it on Reddit. You can't post your own stuff on Reddit. They go mad for that over there. They insta ban you. just ah oh. i'm just gonna sit here and gush over uh yeah get to reddit rod ben shapiro's online Woo! i clipped there sorry Woo! that's pushing me into mega clipping <laughs> I heard that Ben's a big fan. Okay, we've got stuff coming in. Comments coming in. Why do we train scales and arpeggios and learn to improvise with them if we already develop your vocabulary by copying from influences? Uh, because GT King 14, it's a, it's a good question. Um, I would say because it's like you can learn to speak a language. You can learn to speak a language by not learning an alphabet. It is possible you can learn to imitate sounds. Children learn to speak languages without really, um, without understanding and learning the uh, the grammar. You know, you just learn by copying your parents, right? But when it comes to really understanding how the language works and how you can therefore construct more complex sentences and say more complicated things, have a deeper understanding of the language that's being used. Um, understanding you know the alphabet and how words are spelled and grammar and things like that that's uh, quite a, an effective way of doing that so I think the same applies in music you don't need you at fact you don't need to drill scales up and down to become a good improviser but it doesn't hurt it can make the learning process a bit quicker so. <laughs> Ben Shapiro <laughs> facts don't care about your transcriptions fantastic um No. <laughs> oh, Ben. Ben Shapiro. He's a funny character.
this is going to be a wild stream honestly once we get done with all of this we're going to move on and do some joe pass so assuming i can still stand up think of learning arpeggios as learning phonics yeah yeah arpeggios are you know just everything for me anyway Um. Ah, what happened there? So there we go, right? That that's actually, I guess, a really good example of why learning uh, and understanding our uh, vocabulary, um, scales, arpeggios is quite useful. <laughs> yeah, I think I might know who you are too, Ben. <laughs> um, yeah, so GT King four, fourteen. This is a great example of that. This is a really cool line, like a really really cool line. And if you learn it just in terms of vocabulary, if you just uh, take the <laughs> I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing there, Scotsman. Um, if you if you just learn this in terms of vocabulary, I'm going to bring myself up on screen. If you just learn that in terms of vocabulary, then what you've got is a phrase that you can copy, right? Something that you can just use willy-nilly. The next step would be to look at this and say, well, not just what does he play, but where does he play it? Because that's super important. This is played in bar 12 of the blues. So this is really functioning as a turnaround lick, if you like. This is a bit of tension that takes you back to the start of the blues. So that would be the next step. But if you want to get into a more granular level, you would look at this and you would go, okay, so what we've got here is we've got an A major triad. Then we've got a D major triad, but he approaches this D from a semitone above, which gives you that nice, this is an outside note, if you like. And then this phrase is your typical A major, minor to major third type thing that you find in the um, country scale or, you know, dominant seven arpeggio vocabulary. And then we finish by ending on the root. So now I've got that in my mind, I've got a much better understanding of not just how to play this lick, but how I could create my own licks using that as a almost like a framework, right? So I could take, if I t just take the first part of this, which is that A major triad going to, you can't see, I'm an idiot. A major triad, D major triad, A major triad, sort of. But you've got this nice chromatic passing note, that E flat. So, yeah, if I understand it a little bit better, I can look at this and go, well, okay, there's my weird, cool outside sound. Maybe I play this phrase, but then, okay, so this is kind of the A sound. This is me coming home. Maybe I play something else here. And because I've got a better understanding of scales and arpeggios and things like that, it means that I can, I can pull from my... Um, knowledge and you know do that so oh okay yeah Matt has replied oh, okay yeah cool Matt has shared my post Yep, so there we go. Matt Schofield has shared the post. That's very cool. Very nice of Matt. Uh, and we keep carrying on. You are a man of many aliases, yeah. 
arpeggios, arpeggios, arpeggios. We are heading towards Halloween, right? So arpeggios and scales are how we learn technique and get sounds into our ears. Lines are the words and sentences we use to communicate. That's how I think about it. Yeah, I think it's a great way of looking at it, Nate. Um, awesome. Yeah, so that's cool. We've got a, a, a bunch more people will probably check out this stream now because Matt has shared it, which is awesome of him. Uh, anyway, so... So minor pentatonic shape two, right? I hit the uh, number key. Don't want that. And what we should really do is hook me and Matt up and let's get a tab book out there, Matt. I'm putting that in as a... How is that not? Okay, I see what I did there. I mean, I can I can hear, I can literally hear he plays the ninth fret, but I can see that he plays the tenth fret. Same thing here, that lazy phrasing is just, ah, amazing. It's got some cool comments, I'll read them in a second. You know, ah, ah, I'm gushing, I'm literally gushing over it because it's just. I really can't decide where I want to put that. He's so lazy. It's awesome. Uh, let me read these comments. Mike Friedman says that theory is like grammar and phrases are like vocabulary. You can communicate more of a broad vocabulary, a minimal knowledge of grammar than vice versa. All right, let me just think about that. Mike Friedman says that theory is like grammar and phrases are like vocabulary. You can communicate with a broad vocabulary and minimal knowledge of grammar. I mean, that's, that is totally true. You can communicate with a... Um, a broader level of grammar but the the better your understanding of grammar is I mean, here's a great example right uh, Shakespeare absolutely timeless will always be studied by people in school it doesn't matter how well you have an understanding of uh, vocabulary it doesn't matter how well you understand the language based on hearing people talk it and hanging around with people that, that talk it you need to really understand the language to read Shakespeare and really get it to really understand how things used to be done and to appreciate that and I think having that kind of understanding of things is um is is really useful so yeah speaking of Marty Friedman is Marty Friedman about to log in <laughs> yeah we're always happy to help GC King yep Improvising is the way to do it. Dudley should hurry up and announce Josh Smith dates. Oh, I'll let you guys chat. You chat, I'll transcribe. I mean, that's... I'm, I'm being super liberal with this. So unbelievably liberal. Like this, I wouldn't even want to share this transcription with people. Uh, no, wrong note. Let's go with that.
Haha, <laughs> Matt Schofield is funny. So for anyone that isn't following Matt Schofield's um, Facebook page, I, I commented and said, Matt, you're the man. Your timing absolutely blows me away. And it's cool to be able to talk to people about it in such detail. And he came back with, I'm glad you seem to know what I'm doing because I don't. <laughs> I think that that's worth addressing, right? So um, that's not K-Mac, man. So that's really worth addressing. So Matt talking about, I'm glad you know what I'm doing because I don't. That's the point, right? I'm sort of giving you both perspectives. I'm giving you a very detailed, you know, this is exact, well, this is a very close representation of how we would write down what he's playing. But this is the way I would think about it. This is the way I would prefer to see it written down. And when I'm playing, if I want to get this sound, I lay back, I pull a little bit, I sit off the beat just a little bit and, you know, groove a little bit more. And that, you can't learn blues from a page, right? You have to listen. There are too many people out there that I could point you in the direction of that I always use this same same old insult, which is uh, the problem with that guy is he sounds like he's read every book on music. He's read every single book that was ever written about music, but he's never heard any. <laughs> um, and yeah, Matt's obviously not that guy. He just, he's heard it. He's, he's good. So um, yeah. I'm keeping up to date with comments. Yeah, don't don't copy phrases from others directly. That's never what it's about. You should always it, it's trying to get inside the head of the person that was playing and not go what do they play, but why do they play it? What are they trying to do here? What are they trying to express? What's the vibe that they're putting across here? So Yeah, time feel <laughs> oh, Ben Shapiro, funny. I'm going to write that with a triplet. That's a great phrase, I really like that. So again, from an analysis perspective, just looking at this and saying, oh, okay, we've got this little A major triad, and then you've got this classic uh, fourth to minor third sliding into the third. Sorry, yeah, minor third sliding into the third. You jump up and hit the root note on the G string, uh, B string even, and then that slide down a tone to gives you that dominant quality. Everything before this is, could be major pentatonic, right? But then as soon as you hit that G natural, eighth fret, it gives you that instant, you've got that um, dominant quality, brings that flavor out. <laughs> And then what do, what note do we end on? F sharp. Why do we land on F sharp? Because it's the third of the chord that we've just got to. It's a D major chord or a D7. Yeah, Kirk Fletcher, another amazing player. Amazing player. I hope you guys know how much I love you, by the way. It's uh, it's 11 o'clock on a Friday night, right? And today... Today is the day 
Red Dead Redemption 2 came out today. I could be playing Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> I'm streaming for you guys because, you know, you guys are awesome. So is Matt Schofield, though. So. Super lazy phrase, and he goes straight with it. Battle, da -da. Super cool. Ba -da 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 -da. Blues phrase though, right? That's a great phrase. Like that major pentatonic quality to it. And then you hit this blues note bit here. Oh, and this, so I'm going to, um, it's five o'clock there in, in Peru. Peru. Um, oh, oh dear. The trolling is coming. So, um, <laughs> the, uh, also guys, my glass is empty. So, you know, super chat, please. <laughs> I need more whiskey. Um, so everything that we've uh, we talked about there, where uh, who was it? Sorry, I forget the name. GT King fourteen, talking about um, oh, fucking hell, WWE two K nineteen. <laughs> that can fuck right off to Saudi Arabia. Um, yeah, every we're talking about learning uh, arpeggios and scales and things like that. That's where this is helpful. It's it's not just a line anymore. I can literally look at it and go, okay, so you've got that major pentatonic quality and then ah and then we bring in this blues scale thing, hitting that E flat, the flat five. That's um really cool. Yeah. Nate, uh guitar better than video games. Yeah, and no, I absolutely agree with you, but you have to remember this is my job. <laughs> like sitting and playing guitar and transcribing and Making videos is part of my job now, um, and I have been doing it all day since I got up first thing this morning, madly making videos, so I was ready to go away. <laughs> if I bring up, uh, let me bring it up. Uh, I should uh, hide my screen for a second, shouldn't I? I'll give you a teaser of everything we've got coming. Oh, there we go. Paul's bought me a drink. Thank you very much, Paul. Because I, uh, I could do with a drink to get me through, get me through Ben Shapiro. No ice, I'm literally just having to settle for some cold water now. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, anyway, let me bring up this. Uh... Bring up my creator studio. Here we go. I've got all these scheduled videos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven videos. That's that's a lot of that, that's a lot. So, what I could do with right now at the end of a long day, um, long day working transcribing, is um, playing Red Dead Redemption. That would be awesome. Uh, but I've been looking forward to doing this stream. So, Paul, Nate, thank you very much. I'm getting right to the end of this. Rootin' tootin' cowboy shooting. Evolution, yeah, people, yeah. <laughs> will it, will it? <laughs> oh, Ben should be right. Now he plays the same phrase before. You want to know what's really, really funny, Toby? I feel like I've actually transcribed this before, or at least I've definitely transcribed this lick. I wrote a, I wrote a column on Matt Schofield for uh, Premier Guitar Magazine a couple of years ago, right? And when I do stuff in the style of, I always go out of my way to make sure I transcribe actual recordings of the person, usually live recordings, and then adapt their vocabulary 
and maybe meld a few of their different solos together into a longer blues solo, right? And I specifically remember this this particular lick, which was the um, you play the major triad and then you hit the flat five and you slide down. You play the major triad a fourth higher. I remember that. I definitely put it in my transcription, um, and I re- distinctly remember it because I remember he played it twice in the one solo, and he's about to play it. He's about to play it again. Oh, I can't wait to talk about that note. Anyway. So, boom. So, super slick phrase. The whiskey's already paid for, Nate, so... (sighs) I'm even... I'm going to go check. I actually want to go check my uh, Premier Guitar magazine. Uh, Levi Clay. Matt Schofield. Max Gofield's Sophisticated Solo, as it was called. Let's see if any of these... I feel like this lick that we're about to... We're about to look at. I did that. Yeah. Yeah. Mate, it was it was absolutely this solo that I transcribed. Listen to this. I did it in, I changed it, I put it in the key of B flat and then I adapted some of the vocabulary, but it's very much it is so this solo. <laughs> Check this out. That is hilarious. That is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Adam Knight, bottoms up. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> I guess that highlights what a great solo this is. Adam Knight, bottoms up. When did I do that? When did I do that Matt Schofield solo? Let's have a look. All right, that's that whiskey gone. No more super chats, please, or I'm going to have to go and get another. Uh, I have to go get another bottle of whiskey out. Uh, when was that? Let's have a look. It wasn't even there, was it? bringing up my history in a in a YouTube live stream. Thank God I don't look at porn all day, right? <laughs> this is November 2015, so three years ago. So there's that one solo, right? And then if I click this other one, it might even be the next chorus, but then adap- adapted. Yeah, it is. I can... <laughs> There you go. I've done it before. Um, I didn't write it down before when I did it. Though. So, uh, do, do, do. Levi's. Metallica are making a whiskey. That's disgusting. Um, 
you'd, you'd hope there would be a, a Malmsteen whiskey. That'd be an interesting subject. Um, can you guys, for anyone that's watching this stream and wants to put a little bit of work into it, um, can you think of any famous like rock bands, metal bands that have um, that have released whiskies? I think it would be really cool for the Guitar Souls podcast for me to um, you know get in a bottle of like you know wanky famous whiskey and me and Mike could have a glass of that and you know say what we think about it. So um, let me keep going. Shut up, Ben. <laughs> yep, Toby, you do have amazing taste. Um, drunk trans transcribing with Levi. Hello, content. Yeah, I should really change the name of my video. Just drunk transcribing. The f the 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 thing that's most amazing about that, Toby, is um. You know, this is this isn't like you don't just go onto YouTube and type in Matt Schofield solo and this come up. This is in the middle of a video. So clearly, at the time, I'd been listening to a bunch of Matt Schofield, and I and I was like, I should make a note of that solo and take a look at it. Um, yeah. So. It's got the phrase in mind. Now here's where it gets cool. Okay, let me analyze this phrase and tell you why this phrase is fantastic. Though, at this stage, you could just go and look at my Premier Guitar column from three years ago and you'd know. <laughs> so, right, let's analyze this. After playing this really cool repeat of the same phrase from before, which is a great way of tying a solo together, right? Having uh, consistent themes. So here's his outside deck. He plays the triad, hits the flat five, goes down, plays the D major triad. And then we have the uh, kind of thinking of this phrase as being A major pentatonic. Okay? Definitely thinking of this as being A major pentatonic. Awesome. Cool. We then have a motif. So we have this sliding third, this. We can then slide that up a tone. And that brings us back to where we were come down chromatically. We then play the same motif. Come down to the fifth fret. Now at this stage, if you want to be boring, you hit G natural on the high E string, but Matt doesn't. Matt hits the G sharp. Matt hits the G sharp because at this stage, if memory serves me correctly, we'd have like a, like a Lydian dominant sound. It gives you that cool um, flavor of the chord thing. The G sharp. Oh, no, sorry, it's just the five chord at this point. So, yeah, he's hitting the actual chord tone there. And that, that just sounds really cool to my ears. So, um, only Mike's... I mean, I was going to say... I, no, you know what? Mike's value, Mike's opinion on whiskey isn't as valid as mine because I'm a Scotch drinker. Mike is a, is a bourbon drinker.
never going to get over that. So, uh, more comments. From my quick look, only Metallica has a whiskey. Plenty of others have beers. Yeah. I mean, I guess I guess I could buy some bottles of uh, famous beers. And, of course, wines. Um, Slayer famously have a wine because uh, they're idiots. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this, uh, again, this is to Paul, Nate, and Adam. You uh, There's a lot of whiskey in there. <sighs> Michael, there's a name. There's a name I've not heard in a while. How are you? Um, I thought Matt Schofield would draw you in. Um they are in the living room. My wife will be home any minute now. As soon as she comes in, they will bark. So you'll get to hear barking dogs, don't worry. Like that, that delayed note there. You need the thumb for this. Yeah, absolutely. Um, of course, Michael. Any time. Like, <laughs> uh, you know, life gets in the way. The beauty of my students is, um, as I've said to you, like I don't rely on school students to make a living. I just I teach people that are passionate about learning, and they come and go. And some guys I see every week, and other guys I see once every six months. Like, that's cool. Let's talk about that. Okay, what have we got here? Look at that. Yep, cool. Now look at that. What is it? Yep, repetition. Repetition ties solos together, people. Even plays the same phrase here. Plays it on the beat there. Though. Same phrase. Don't even need to check, right? <laughs> we know where he's going. Why do we know he's going there? Because this is chord one on a blues. This is an A. A, D, A, A. Next chord here is going to be D. So he slides up to the 11th fret because that's the third in the D chord. Levi's whiskey swing picking. I have my own beer. I do actually have my own beer. I did brew, I don't know, 100 and something bottles of, uh, of Donna Brew, we called it. And my wife's maiden name is Donahue, so the Donna Brew. Whoops. There you go. I'm going to finish this bar and then I'm going to go say hello to my wife, okay? Okay, that's that bar finished. I am going to put on a Hellcat Molly track, put an advert on screen for you, and then uh, just say hello to my wife, okay? So give me a minute, guys. Dropbox, public, 
album. Into the whiskey. Yeah, let's put some into the whiskey on because. Um, yeah. So I played this one last time, so let's not do that. Okay, uh, I'm going to put a track on called I Can't Do This. This uh, features my friend Lyle Watt. Fun story behind behind this, actually. So um, I recorded uh, a vocal version of my album, then I wanted to do an instrumental version of the album. And um, when I did that, I had friends come and play on it. And Lyle came over and we were laying down stuff to this track and he played a slide solo over the beginning. And I was like, mate, that is so good. Can would you be okay with me putting that on the actual album? And he said, yeah, no, cool, man, absolutely. So Lyle is the uncredited slide guitar solo on the start of um, Leaving London on my album. Um, anyway, let me put this up. I am going to hit play and go and say hello to the wife.
I've not heard that in a while, actually. A long time. I don't, obviously, I don't listen to my own music. I'm not Mark Meekin, who goes around the house listening to his own theme tune, as recorded by Tailed Feature. <laughs> um, yeah, fun, fun story on that. Um, Lyle was the only person that didn't listen to the tracks at all before he turned up to my house to record. Everyone else, I sent them the tracks, and Lyle turns up, and I say to him... Um, Hey Lyle, um, how did you get on with the tracks? What do you think? He was like, oh, I've I've not listened to them yet, and I was absolutely dreading it. I was like, oh, this is gonna take forever. And we sat down. He said, "Cool, play me the track." And I I played him the track, um, and he listened to it. And went, yeah, no, that's really cool. I like that. Uh, one more time, one more time. He listened to it again. He went, okay, cool, let's go. And I was like, you sure? And he was like, yeah, okay, hit record. Um, and he all of his parts he got in three takes just just went for it saw what happened and i videoed a lot of it so um yeah anyway let me catch up on the chats that i've missed out so lyle yeah he is uh, supporting deacon blue he is a great player he's a freak of a player i can still ban you toby don't rebel against me your overlord <laughs> uh you no you yeah um Christendom Defender breaking into Dankula's computer. I can do these things. You know, Marcus will never get one over on me. I'll, it will always be me getting one over on him. Uh, thank you for tuning in, Nate, and thank you for the whiskey. Let's talk of supremacy on this on this stream, Toby. Uh, I am a naughty boy. Yep. Mark Weaver, the topic of my next book is slide guitar soloing techniques. So for those that followed my country books, you'll know that I did country guitar for beginners. I did uh, 100 licks for country guitar and I did country guitar soloing techniques. So I'm doing a similar thing for slide guitar. I'm doing um, Delta Blues slide guitar, which is kind of acoustic beginners blues slide guitar, slide guitar soloing techniques. And then we do slide guitar heroes, 100 licks for slide guitar. So yeah, there you go. Spoilers. Good old art of the day long erection. The fine art of plugging. <laughs> ben Shapiro, um, in this industry, you have to plug everything that you've ever done. Because if you don't, you will not pay your mortgage. You will not make ends meet. <laughs> Adam Knight, you have one of my books and want to buy another. What is the best way to buy one that gets the most money in my pocket? You're in the US. Um, that's a great question, Adam. And I, I really appreciate that, actually. Um, my publisher's great, and I get a really good cut on my books like a, a very generous cut on my books so it doesn't matter where you buy it from i'm always getting a good cut it amazon manufacture the books so if you want a paperback the best way to get the book is is from amazon um the way that i get the most money is if you buy a pdf directly from the fundamental changes website so yeah but in all honesty amazon is absolutely fine absolutely fine so uh yeah dank has a key <laughs> Marcus has a keyboard on show, and he doesn't have a plug for it. He can't turn that on if he wanted to. Do I do bass? Yeah. Hey, I can't even remember what the word was now, Toby. You, mate, you can't you can't offend me. I don't really care what you say. Um, can't what? No, Marcus can't wire it, but he can't do fucking anything. Anyway, let's get back on with the transcribing, shall we? Now I know that he's dropping down to that uh, six there instead of the flat seven. And this is how you learn from this stuff. So let's do Toby levels of accuracy here.
How much of the solar did you get done? Toby, did you do the entire thing? That's, um, yeah. <laughs> I'll bring up Toby's channel for you. Toby, I don't know how much stuff he has on his channel. Let's have a look. Oh, so Toby has a channel, but he's not uploaded any content to it, which I'll have a word with him about. Because Toby's um, Toby's a great songwriter. Toby's a really good songwriter. That's his main focus. He's getting a little bit more interested in, in the, uh, you know, the the more technical playing side of things. Um, and he's you know, totally not a bad player by any stretch of the imagination. Um, he's a good drummer as well. But really, Toby's passion is kind of songwriting. Yeah. So. Yeah, I found I looked at your channel, mate, but you don't have any content. So. I don't understand what this dabbing thing is. Like, I understand. I I see people doing the like the meme thing, but I don't I don't know what it means. So, let's see what's going on in the uh, in the rest of the world. Oh, no emails. Let's check Twitter. See what's going down on Twits. The 
the old furious typing. Nope. Nobody cared. Ah, well, you you people care, and there's uh, you still got some people online, so. Well, no, <laughs> Toby, I can literally click on your name in the chat, click the button, and click go to channel, and it takes me to your channel, your actual channel that has zero subscribers, just liked videos. Maybe you've marked everything as private, or maybe you have a secondary channel, but yeah. Anyway, let me keep going. My button's not working. Read some comments. Got lots of comments coming in. I mean, I don't know about your anus, but my anus is always visible. Um, okay, we'll keep your YouTube secret because <laughs> that's 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 the secret of everyone that that is going out and being a success in the music industry, right? Don't want anyone to know about them. <laughs> Fix it. Now I'm glad that you said you're going to uh, you're going to relaunch. What is your deal, Ben? Um, uh, the problem is. It's it's really sad. Like you're talking to Christendom about like just sitting in your room and all these plans. You have all these plans, but I'll tell you a story. Not really a story, but kind of my ethos for things. Right um, when I was at university, did a degree in music performance, as you all know. <sighs> I'm empty, guys. Yeah, when I was at uh, university, um, I was working, you know, reasonably hard on making sure I got my degree, but I spent a hell of a lot of time networking professionally, like 
getting to know people that were working at companies. I Everyone actually laughed at me and thought that I, I thought too highly of myself when I had to miss classes one week because I went out to Frankfurt to um, Music Mesa. And I went out to network. I literally got business cards printed up and went around, not the instrument part, but the publishing part and went and shook hands and, you know, got talking to people and nothing came of it. Like I didn't get any work from it. But the point is everyone sort of, like I say, made fun of me behind my back. You know, this guy takes himself so so seriously. Why don't you focus on your degree? You know, you can worry about that stuff when you get out of university. And my logic was very much like, there's no time like the present. I'm at university right now, I don't need to worry about an income because I've got a student loan that covers all of that stuff, but the second this degree finishes, I need a job, I need a career, Um, and those guys just didn't seem to see it, so when it came to finishing, suddenly they're all scrambling for work, and I'm like, I'm alright guys, Like I've got all my contacts sorted out, Like I'm going to make money now, have fun, good luck, kind of thing, and a lot of those guys found themselves in the shittiest position of all, which is having to leave London because they weren't prepared to stick around. Um, And yeah, once you leave London, you know, you you don't go back. And then, sure, you can make a career outside of London. I do. But, um, you know, there are obviously more opportunities in London. So um, that's kind of the kiss of death. So the point is, you know, pull your finger out and, and get building that career now. Don't wait. You can, you'll only get better as you go along, right? If you're always waiting for like the best version of you, I'm so much better now as a, as a YouTuber uh, than I was a year ago, two years ago. Um, story. <laughs> Shut up, name redacted. I'm so much better as a YouTuber than I was a year ago, and I'm nowhere near as good as I'm going to be a year from now, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to wait until I get to that point. So, yeah. Do it, man. You've got good stuff. You're... Uh, I, we talked about your career anyway, so let's have a look. Who's sending me friend requests on Facebook? Is that one of you guys? Anyway, let me let me keep going. I'll just bring the chat down to the bottom. The old man Daddio is on. That's um, as the name would suggest. That's my dad. Thanks for watching, Dad. <laughs> Doesn't play that there. I assumed he played it there, but he doesn't. My dad's going to send me the next super chat so I can get a whiskey. Isn't that right, Dad?
What do you mean we shall see? Shut up, Dad. You don't even know what a super chat is. The biggest, the most important part of old man daddy is the old man part. You don't know what a super chat is. I'm 30 next week and I only just about know what a super chat is. And I still don't really understand it. Certainly don't understand why it's called super chat. It's a terrible name. Why not just YouTube tips, you know? Anyway. <laughs> Here's an interesting question for anyone that is watching. My dad is coming up in, let me see, what's the date? My dad's up in two weeks. He's coming to visit for my birthday party. Um, and I'm thinking of filming a video with him. Thinking of doing a video with him. Uh, so what do we think? Do we want to do a video with my dad? I need to message my wife. <laughs> I've just got a message from my friend Nick who said, what is a super chat? <laughs> yep. I feel you, Nick. I, I have no idea. Uh... Oh, thank you, thank you, Rodney, for posting this up on Reddit. Unfortunately, unfortunately, mate. Unfortunately, you made a mistake. Levi's not going teetotal in November because it's Levi's birthday in November, so that's where he's definitely going to have a drink. My dad basically has dementia. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to stop there on that one, guys, because I, I want to get some Joe Pass done, and we're, we're about two hours in, so, um, you know, 
Joe Pass. Let's take a listen. Might mix it. You know what? Actually, I am. I'm going to mix it up. I did some Joe Pass earlier. I'm going to. I'm going to do some. I can't decide. Oh, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. No, I'm going to do what I had planned. No, I'm not going to change it. Anyway, so um, if we take a listen, damn, what was this? What was this called? It's called "Don't Know What I Do." Let me save this in my Patreon group. Doesn't do those grace notes too well, does it? But there we go. So there's some Matt Schofield, right? <laughs> See, there you go. My dad's off the bed. I mean, to be yeah, it's nearly midnight. This is uh, it's way beyond your bedtime, Dad. It's Matt Schofield done. So let me read some comments. I'm gonna I'm gonna chat for a while with Yarl before I go and do some Joe Pass. Joe Pass without a guitar is gonna be fun because <laughs> it's not video. Levi goes teetotal info. I mean, most months Levi is pretty teetotal. Teetotal. Um, The chat, the okay. So a lesson from Ben Shapiro here. Um, the dab is a very childish pseudo dance move. People on the edgy side of the spectrum use it to express sarcasm towards the childish kids who popularise it. Okay, that makes sense. It's it's fascinating to get such a, an in depth lesson on modern culture from Ben Shapiro. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, I break into uh, I break into Marcus's computer. I just do the. He should learn to handle his drink. Shall I embarrass? I'll embarrass him. Yeah, why not? See if this works. Um, 
This is just before I streamed. Sleeping like a little baby. That boy needs to learn how to handle his drink. <laughs> cool, so uh, we're going to do Joe Pass, right? And the reason we're doing Joe Pass is because, well, this month I've I've already done one, like it's been a massive Joe Pass month, and I've actually got another special Joe Pass video coming. I did another Joe Pass transcription, and I, I uh, recorded the process of me doing the transcription earlier today. I think that's going up on Sunday, maybe. I don't know. Um, I did that, but I also did, where is it? Blues for Basie. So I did this Joe Pass transcription, right? As drunk as I was, Christendom. So that's uh, Blues for Basie, which is from Joe Pass's Virtuoso Number no. 2, which I recently did a video with uh, Jens Larsen, and, oh, well, it was on Jens Larsen's channel, and we talked about our favourite jazz albums, and I did, I said, Joe Pass's Virtuoso Number no. 2, it's my favourite jazz album. Oh, no, we don't want that. Yeah, you've lost me. Everything's gone away. It's coming back. Stupid windows. On that. There we go. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so uh, I talked about Joe Pass's Virtuoso Number no. 2. It's my favourite jazz album years and years after hearing it. I can move my face now. Um, so I decided to make this month on Patreon. Oh, oh no. Oh, why is, why is that not fixed ratio? Oh, I'm so confused. Lock preview, maybe. I don't know what's that. Oh, okay, I can, I can do that. Why can I... Why? I don't understand. Oh! Oh! Oh, some weird things are happening. I don't understand why I can... That's always been a fixed ratio. I'm, and I'm not sure why that's... Suddenly I can change that. I don't want that to... I don't want to be able to change that. Hmm. That's not good. Oh well, it would do. <laughs> yep, yeah, Boomer Levi doesn't know anything about technology. <laughs> Thank you, Christendom Defender. Um, I like my ability to. Richard Henry, yeah. Um, have a good good night's sleep, my friend, and uh, good luck with tomorrow. Because you know, <laughs> it's not like you've got. I, I don't know that you know what you're doing. Maybe you've got something really important on, important on on. But just getting up, you know, getting out of bed in the morning. Good luck, mate. <laughs> Do I lose subs during these? Well, let's have a look. No, I, th I would imagine I pick subs up for during my streams. Um, anyway, so yeah, Blues for OP. So let's take a listen to it. So, uh, one, two, three. I've 
not got the energy. <laughs> Let me open recent. Hang on. Let's open jazz lines. I'm going to do something that's going to cause less stress for me. It's not that. Let's do, where is it? There we go. So earlier today I started transcribing. Hello Omar, what's up? Earlier today I started transcribing this. I want to get it right at the start, so. Stupid Levi face. go from here. I'm gonna grab my guitar. Oh, one of my guitars, just so I can double check these chord voices, okay? So. He, like, he likes that, I learned that from doing blues for bassy. Second time someone's asked me about my interface today. I'm using the um, Apollo, UAD's Apollo Twin. I need a strap, two seconds. Oh, fantastic, you met Joe Pass. Would love to have uh, to, to have met Joe, he's been such a huge influence on my playing. So that will be... Uh, uh, So I'm going to talk about this. Uh, oh, what what is going on there? Why is that beamed together? Uh, 
that's not nice at all. Um, so this is a C, and for some reason it's ruined the notation. I'll fix that. I find Joe's playing just absolutely fascinating. sense of pulse because I've lost that now and keep uh, keep up to date with the comments let's just talk rhythm right I, I need to make sure that everyone understands why I've written the rhythm where the way I have it first chord is on beat one next beat beat two you have two chords one on the one and then one on the and. Uh, beat three, only on the and, and beat four, only on the and. So rhythmically, da, 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 da. And practicing something like that. One, two, three, four. Forget the chord. What is the chord? Oh, he fingers it like that. That'll be why. Three, four. Let's try and get that right. Let's get it right. One, two, and three, uh, three, and four, and. That helps, right? B7 there, yeah. Ah. It's probably going to go there after that. So I'm starting to notice a, pa notice a pattern, right? Let's see if he does it. He did it. So uh, there's a pattern. We've learned a Joe Pass pattern. Do I like classical music? I haven't really been much of a classical music fan since college. I had to study a lot of classical music in college. And classic fans of classical music put me off classical music, much in the same way that you know metal fans will put you off metal. <laughs> What did he play? Same thing again. We've got a little cycle that he likes here now. Should really analyse it, shouldn't I? Right, let's get rid of that. Now, it's an A flat chord. That's a D. D9. And this could be a lot of things, but let's, uh, let's analyse it from a D flat perspective. Mm -hmm. 
So even with all this whiskey in me, I can still transcribe Joe Pass. There's always time for tra Joe Pass, right? The Unstoppable Records asks, what is the player on your left which is playing the audio and how have you synced the video and the audio player, man? That is a piece of software called Transcribe. Um, if you type Levi Clay Transcribe, there's a video of me talking about the software, showing you how it all works. And I have an affiliate link. If you purchase it via that link, I get 10 bucks, which is um, which is good. You should go and do that. <laughs> yeah, this is Transcribe. Love it. Ba, 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 da, da. I've broke my rule, should be three per line, right? Da, 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 da. sync um, I can fix that like this though cool thank you very much for tuning in Toby um, cool we've got uh, you know stuff coming in the next couple of days we'll have lots of um, announcements on the the transcription for next month and also study club study club is going to be awesome this month i've got anacrusis on that's why it's fucking everything up see i, I told you i don't use anacrusis for a reason You know what guys I'm going to I'm going to give you a link for that cuz I had this just earlier and uh, you know I talk about ways to support the channel um it's a great way to support the channel it is to buy um transcribe via my affiliate link because like I say I get I get like 10 bucks when you do that um which is you know awesome you get something I get something where is it? Cool. So, that oh, was... Uh, okay, so I've just posted a link in the uh, chat. If you purchase Transcribe via that link, um, I get uh, an affiliate fee out of it, so it's a good way to support the channel. And yeah, politics is a waste of time. That's nice. Uh, doesn't play. 
play it there. Plays the A in the bottom. Octave. I know what that chord is now, I don't need to think about it, is this. And that's what transcribing does for you. Alright, let me uh let me read. Support yeah, support me with your limitless shekels, Ben. Signing off, Connor. Thank you very much for tuning in. And uh what do you mean looking forward to ca to catching up on future catching future live streams? Aren't you coming to see me in like a week and a bit? You'll see me soon, hopefully. Yeah, no. So, Chris and Defender, when you um, no, no, when you when you click that link, it will just take you to their website. You, you won't know any different. It's just they they track the fact that you've come to the website via my link. So um yeah you you will that that will still function as the affiliate and I will I will make 10 bucks on that. So if you do purchase it, you know, let me let me know. Um I'd always appreciate it. Yeah. So what do we think guys? Shall I do one more chorus? Um I'm exhausted. I'm not going to I'm not sticking around for much longer. I don't, I can't decide if it's just because I'm generally exhausted from the amount of work that I've done today or if uh if drinking whiskey on live streams is a bad idea. Drinking whiskey on live streams is a great idea, if I'm just you know drinking whiskey and having conversations. But uh, when I'm having to transcribe, but I want you to learn this. So, walking bass lines, right? Diluting juice has made me tired. Name redacted. Um, I feel like that has given away your identity to me. Because only the Scottish say diluting juice. Minus seven. Yep. A flat seven. A 
Uh, know this voicing. He's going to be going to what a C chord. So before even playing it, it will be this. Could be wrong on that, but. He doesn't hit the low note. But he's going. He's going for that, which is the Joe Pass move now. I've learned this. This is my the thing that I've learned. An Englishman would say squash. That's a pattern. It's a pattern that he's played twice now. He's done it on two different chords. So after that, he's going to go... Uh, and then what did he do before? Yeah, exactly the same pattern, but he's playing it now in the key of C. So it will go. Whoops. back to the, the G chord. This this makes me really happy. I feel like I've I've I'm understanding Joe a little bit more now. Guess what? He did the exact same thing that he did here. Okay, then we got the same thing here, but now it's moving down, chromatically down to um, going down to that F. That's a great way to get to E. That's my A7 with the open strings. Played something similar earlier. This is similar to what he did on Blues for Basie. Same thing. I'm going to stop at the end of this chorus, guys. Take questions, then I'm going. Mm -hmm. 
that's the end of that chorus. So that's two more choruses of Joe Pass. And again, this is this is why I transcribe. This is why I do this stuff. It's so I can learn. Um, I've learned this month on Patreon. I have learned that Joe Pass, when he's playing on a blues, blues in A. He plays this movement when going to, how do I put this? Anytime he's about to play the uh, dominant nine voicing, he'll always preface it from a semitone above, like you would, you know. But instead of, he always seems to play. So it's like playing the nine chord to semitone above, but he'll put what would be the flat 13 or the sharp five on it. So I guess if I'm trying to apply that in actual music, um, I don't actually I don't know how well you can hear my guitar. So if I was playing blues in uh, what's he, where he's playing in G, isn't he? So if we're going. Okay, so I mean it's, it's not it's not fluid yet, but you you get what I've learned something from this. I've taken something. I've stolen some of his musical identity, and now I will go out of my way to you know do something with that musically. So um, cool, guys. Um, thank you so much for tu tuning in. And I'm sorry that I'm cutting things semi short, but um, you know interaction is um, interaction is an awesome thing. And I see that we've still got 14 people watching, which is probably mostly Ben Shapiro and his sock puppet accounts. <laughs> Um, but yeah, honestly, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you have any questions, I'm going to sit around again for a, for a few more minutes. And yeah, any more questions, I'm uh, I'm happy to happy to answer them. Uh, why is it telling me I've only been live for 27 minutes? That's uh, that's not right. Was there a break in my in the stream? Oh, very odd. So I'm happy. Like I, I've learned something out of this, and that's really the whole point of this. It's it's about being able to learn, right, and learn new stuff. And a great way to learn new stuff is <laughs> he's so good at plugging his own shit. A great way to check out and learn new stuff is to um, go away and take a look at some of my books. Lots of books there. Country guitar for beginners. One hundred country licks for guitar. Country guitar soloing techniques. The country finger style method. The country guitar method compilation. That's a big book. And my last book, Delta Blues slide guitar. I love that book, and um, I'm really looking forward to going away next week for a week and working on the follow up. So I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm going to yeah. I'm going to go away and write. Uh, what is it? Slide guitar soloing techniques. Uh, you can also support me over on Patreon. There is a link in the description below. You can support me for as little as $1 over there. That's going to get you access to a lot of stuff. Not just the transcriptions that we've been working on today. I will be posting those for my patrons because uh, they're good people. And you can be a good person too. It also gives you access to my private patron-only Facebook group. You know, good stuff going on there. I've got like 105 people in there, I think. And we're always talking music and sharing musical ideas we've got some great members in there as well some some high profile players i don't necessarily want to name who they are because maybe they don't want people publicly knowing that they support me <laughs> but you'll see them in the group always talking about music with those guys so um yeah you can support me on patreon great way of supporting me and of course there is the affiliate link that you can uh, use for 
uh, transcribe the software which I posted in the comments. And finally, I should say a big thank you to these guys up here, VPix. They support, support, yeah, support, sponsor this channel. They keep content coming to you. I like those guys. I've been a big fan of their picks for many years. Um, no secret there. If you search Levi Clay VPix, you're going to find a lot of stuff. I've always been very vocal about how much I love their picks. So it's really nice to, you know, get some um, support from those guys after all these years of playing their picks and loving their picks. So I can't see any more comments coming in. So um, yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna head, guys. Stay there. Um, hmm. I hate this. this is the worst part of stream. Actually having to sign off. I hate doing it. Ah, but no one said anything, so I'm gone. Bye.